Hi guys, it's me, Avalonia. I'm back with a new video. I want to show you a quick and easy tutorial today about my paper doily flipbook I made for Kelly G. She already has a flipbook since some weeks. <laughs> and um, I got a lot of questions how I made it and I want to show you that it's really really easy. You just need a paper dolly for it and it's a paper dolly you normally put underneath your cakes and it doesn't matter what color it is of course. There are a lot of different colors there outside and um, you just can take the round ones that's uh, something like this in Germany they are already folded in half so don't wonder about it um, yeah and it's just a folding you don't need any glue you just need the paper dolly and you just need to fold it and yeah you open it up because here in Germany they are folded in half as I said and you can use you can make it in different ways. Um, you can fold it. You can use this as, as a guideline and fold uh, your paper dolly to this line. But I normally um, use this um, edge here and take the middle of it because it's a little bit stronger. Or oh, it seems a little bit stronger. I don't know if it's really stronger. And you can fold it on top there and in the middle and just squeeze it. And so we have your pocket, your first pocket. This is here. You can have your pocket here. And then it's just easy. You take a postcard or a Project Life card. And put it in between. Just need to find a little bit the middle of it. And then you take this side of your paper dolly and fold it to the edge of your um, project life card. Yeah, if you can see this. Just fold it like this. Close to the edge and there, line it up and then squeeze it. Open it up, take the other side and also go to the edge of your project life card or postcard. Line it up and squeeze it. Close it and you are done. That's all the magic of it. It's really, really easy. Of course, you can change up a little bit, make it a little bit cl closer or, or wider. But um, this is the way I always do it because it's the best size to put things in it. Yeah, like Project Life cards, postcards, stickers or something. And you always have a little... Um, a little space between for decorations or if you put something in this pocket it can stand a little bit out and won't break by the transporting or something um, that's the that's a good size it um, yeah it's it doesn't matter how you close it you can you can also close it that way it it doesn't mind yeah I love it that way I don't know why it I like it. It looks it looks as pretty as I love it. And you can use it different ways. You can make as I did flip books out of it. You can use it to wrap your pocket letters. You can put a pocket letter here and behind and some goodies outside if you want. You can also use it as your wedding 
um, wedding invitation presentation. You can put a label here on with your name, open it up, put the date on it, open it up, put a photo on there and put your invitation in the back in this pocket. And it's a really, really awesome presentation. Really, it looks so, so pretty. And you can also, if you want, fold it any other way. I did it uh, some years ago. You can make it that way as we folded it first. Then turn it around and fold it to the opposite side. And then you have an absolutely awesome page for your scrapbooking. Something like um, oh, I lost the word. <laughs> like a paper bag, a paper bag uh, page. Because if you turn it now put some holes in there. Oh, I didn't fold it pretty well but um, you know. You can put holes in here for binding and then you have pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Really pretty pretty and when you turn the page in your book you will have a lot of space here for decorating, putting a photo there and another pocket here and it really really looks so so pretty i made um, a wedding scrapbook out of it some years ago and it turned out really really pretty i will try to make one for you to show but um, if you are a scrapbooker and a crafter you you already know how i mean it and it really will really looks absolutely awesome and pretty 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 um yeah i hope you give it a try i will fold it uh, back again and you see i did wrong here um and it's really easy now if you have this um folded you can decorate it just as you like you can decorate a little bit here it um, it's not uh, almost easy to glue it. You you just um, put your hand on there, put a little bit on cl of glue on there, and put your put your paper on it. Yeah, and you can also just glue this piece to it. it doesn't matter. Or you can use a bread or something. Yeah. And then you have these pockets here. You can use this pocket from this side, but you can also decorate here and use it from this side. Or leave, leave it just blank and use it as a pocket. It's really, really a big space. If you can see, there's a little, a small project life card, the 3x5, 3x4, 3x4 inches. And yeah. It fits and you can put also bigger things in there and you can also decorate it here and here, put things in it and you can also decorate this one and make another pocket on it. I always do pockets on here, just glue it here and on the sides and you can use it as a pocket. And you can use this as a pocket but you can also open it up make it open it up and decorate the whole thing or make here a pocket another pocket here just if you want to because it is not glued together it is just folded and of course you can also use the back side as i did uh, for kelly g's one i also did a pocket on the back so really really many opportunities to use this small piece of paper. It is it is not so big, you know. <laughs> and a lot of space, a lot of room to put things in there. 
and it is really really pretty you can make some shabby chic one as out, out of it and um, this one I will make a coffee theme one, themed one because I have a swap on Facebook um, yeah for a, I love coffee it is named and we need to make a flipbook with coffee theme and I uh, found this cream paper dollies and we'll use it because it matches pretty with these stickers I have. Look at these. Look at these coffee stickers. They're also cutie and they match together and that's why I want to use it for it. Of course you will see the result of it. <laughs> So give it a try, let me know what you think and if you made one, maybe you can put a link underneath this video. I would love to show you results and what you made out of it. Okay, so see you guys soon for more videos and tutorials. I have a lot of upcoming. Bye bye!